Chapters 5 through 11 of the Book of Deuteronomy from the World English Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mark Penfold. The Book of Deuteronomy, Chapters 5 through 11 from the World English Bible. Chapter 5 Moses called to all Israel, and said to them, Hear, Israel, the statutes and the ordinances which I speak in your ears this day, that you may learn them, and observe to do them. Yahweh our God made a covenant with us in Horeb. Yahweh didn't make this covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us, who are all of us here alive this day. Yahweh spoke with you face to face on the mountain, out of the midst of the fire. I stood between Yahweh and you at that time, to show you the word of Yahweh, for you were afraid because of the fire, and didn't go up onto the mountain, saying, I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make an engraved image for yourself, any likeness of what is in heaven above, or what is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down yourself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children, and on the third and on the fourth generation of those who hate me, and showing loving kindness to thousands of those who love me, and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of Yahweh your God in vain, for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Observe the Sabbath day, to keep it holy, as Yahweh your God commanded you. You shall labor six days, and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to Yahweh your God in which you shall not do any work, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your ox, nor your donkey, nor any of your livestock, nor your stranger who is within your gates, that your male servant and your female servant may rest as well as you. You shall remember that you were a servant in the land of Egypt, and Yahweh your God brought you out of there by a mighty hand and by an outstretched arm. Therefore Yahweh your God commanded you to keep the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother, as Yahweh your God commanded you, that your days may be long, and that it may go well with you in the land which Yahweh your God gives you. You shall not murder, neither shall you commit adultery, Neither shall you steal, neither shall you give false testimony against your neighbor, neither shall you covet your neighbor's wife, neither shall you desire your neighbor's house, his field, or his male servant, or his female servant, his ox, or his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. These words Yahweh spoke to all your assembly on the mountain, out of the midst of the fire, of the cloud, and of the thick darkness with a great voice, and he added no more. He wrote them on two tables of stone, and gave them to me. It happened, when you heard the voice out of the midst of the darkness, while the mountain was burning with fire, that you came near to me, even all the heads of your tribes and your elders, and you said, Behold, Yahweh our God has shown us his glory and his greatness, and we have heard his voice out of the midst of the fire, we have seen this day that God does speak with man, and he lives. Now therefore, why should we die? For this great fire will consume us if we hear the voice of Yahweh our God any more than we shall die. For who is there of all flesh that has heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the midst of the fire as we have and lived? Go near and hear all that Yahweh our God shall say, and tell us all that Yahweh our God shall tell you and we will hear it, and do it. Yahweh heard the voice of your words when you spoke to me, and Yahweh said to me, 
I have heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken to you. They have well said all that they have spoken. Oh, that there were such a heart in them that they would fear me, and keep all my commandments always, that it might be well with them, and with their children for ever. Go tell them, return to your tents. But as for you, stand here by me, and I will tell you all the commandment, and the statutes, and the ordinances, which you shall teach them, that they may do them in the land which I give them to possess it. You shall observe to do therefore as Yahweh your God has commanded you. You shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. You shall walk in all the way which Yahweh your God has commanded you, that you may live, and that it may be well with you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which you shall possess. Chapter 6 Now this is the commandment, the statutes, and the ordinances, which Yahweh your God commanded to teach you, that you might do them in the land where you go over to possess it, that you might fear Yahweh your God, to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you, you and your son and your son's son, all the days of your life, and that your days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with you, and that you may increase mightily, as Yahweh the God of your fathers has promised to you in a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, Israel, Yahweh is our God, Yahweh is one, and you shall love Yahweh your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your might. These words which I command you this day shall be on your heart, and you shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them for a sign on your hand, and they shall be for symbols between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house, and on your gates. It shall be, when Yahweh your God shall bring you into the land which he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you great and goodly cities which you didn't build, and houses full of all good things which you didn't fill, and cisterns dug out which you didn't dig, vineyards and olive trees which you didn't plant, and you shall eat and be full. Then beware, lest you forget Yahweh, who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall fear Yahweh your God, and you shall serve him, and shall swear by his name. You shall not go after other gods, of the gods of the peoples who are around you, for Yahweh your God in the midst of you is a jealous God, lest the anger of Yahweh your God be kindled against you, and he destroy you from off the face of the earth. You shall not tempt Yahweh your God, as you tempted him in Massa. You shall diligently keep the commandments of Yahweh your God, and his testimonies, and his statutes, which he has commanded you. You shall do that which is right and good in the sight of Yahweh, that it may be well with you, and that you may go in and possess the good land which Yahweh swore to your fathers, to thrust out all your enemies from before you, as Yahweh has spoken. When your son asks you in time to come, saying, What do the testimonies, the statutes, and the ordinances which Yahweh our God has commanded you mean? Then you shall tell your son, We were Pharaoh's bondservants in Egypt, and Yahweh brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and Yahweh showed great and awesome signs and wonders on Egypt, on Pharaoh, and on all his house, before our eyes. And he brought us out from there, that he might bring us in, to give us the land which he swore to our fathers. Yahweh commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear Yahweh our God, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive, as at this day. It shall be righteousness to us, if we observe to do all this commandment before Yahweh our God, as he has commanded us. Chapter 7 when Yahweh your God shall bring you into the land where you go to possess it, and shall cast out many nations before you, the Hittite, and the Girgashite, and the Amorite, and the Canaanite, and the Perizzite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite, 
seven nations greater and mightier than you. And when Yahweh your God shall deliver them up before you, and you shall strike them, then you shall utterly destroy them. You shall make no covenant with them, nor show mercy to them, neither shall you make marriages with them. Your daughter you shall not give to his son, nor shall you take his daughter for your son. For he will turn away your son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So the anger of Yahweh would be kindled against you, and he would destroy you quickly. But you shall deal with them like this. You shall break down their altars, and dash their pillars in pieces, and cut down their asherim, and burn their engraved images with fire. For you are a holy people to Yahweh your God. Yahweh your God has chosen you to be a people for his own possession, above all peoples who are on the face of the earth. Yahweh didn't set his love on you, nor choose you because you were more in number than any people, for you were the fewest of all peoples. But because Yahweh loves you, and because he would keep the oath which he swore to your fathers, has Yahweh brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondage, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know therefore that Yahweh your God, he is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and loving kindness with them who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations, and repays those who hate him to their face, to destroy them. He will not be slack to him who hates him. He will repay him to his face. You shall therefore keep the commandment and the statutes and the ordinances which I command you this day to do them. It shall happen, because you listen to these ordinances, and keep and do them, that Yahweh your God will keep with you the covenant and the loving kindness which he swore to your fathers, and he will love you, and bless you, and multiply you. He will also bless the fruit of your body, and the fruit of your ground, your grain, and your new wine, and your oil, the increase of your livestock, and the young of your flock, in the land which he swore to your fathers to give you. You shall be blessed above all peoples. There shall not be male or female barren among you, or among your livestock. Yahweh will take away from you all sickness, and none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which you know, he will put on you, but will lay them on all those who hate you. You shall consume all the peoples whom Yahweh your God shall deliver to you. Your eyes shall not pity them, neither shall you serve their gods, for that will be a snare to you. If you shall say in your heart, these nations are more than I, how can I dispossess them? You shall not be afraid of them. You shall well remember what Yahweh your God did to Pharaoh, and to all Egypt, the great trials which your eyes saw, and the signs, and the wonders, and the mighty hand, and the outstretched arm by which Yahweh your God brought you out. So shall Yahweh your God do to all the peoples of whom you are afraid. Moreover, Yahweh your God will send the hornet among them, until those who are left, and hide themselves, perish from before you. You shall not be scared of them, for Yahweh your God is in the midst of you, a great and awesome God. Yahweh your God will cast out those nations before you, by little and little. You may not consume them at once, lest the animals of the field increase on you. But Yahweh your God will deliver them up before you, and you will confuse them with a great confusion, until they be destroyed. He will deliver their kings into your hand, and you shall make their name to perish from under the sky. No man shall be able to stand before you, until you have destroyed them. You shall burn the engraved images of their gods with fire. You shall not covet the silver or the gold that is on them, nor take it for yourself, lest you be snared in it for it is an abomination to Yahweh your God. You shall not bring an abomination into your house, and become a devoted thing like it. You shall utterly detest it, and you shall utterly abhor it, for it is a devoted thing. Chapter 8 You shall observe to do all the commandment which I command you this day, that you may live, and multiply, and go in and possess the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers. You shall remember all the way which Yahweh your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, to prove you, 
to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. He humbled you, and allowed you to be hungry, and fed you with manna, which you didn't know, neither did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man does not live by bread only, but man lives by everything that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahweh. Your clothing didn't grow old on you, neither did your foot swell these forty years. You shall consider in your heart that as a man chastens his son, so Yahweh your God chastens you. You shall keep the commandments of Yahweh your God, to walk in his ways, and to fear him. For Yahweh your God brings you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of springs, and underground water flowing into valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land in which you shall eat bread without scarceness. You shall not lack anything in it a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills you may dig copper. You shall eat and be full, and you shall bless Yahweh your God for the good land which he has given you. Beware, lest you forget Yahweh your God, in not keeping his commandments, and his ordinances, and his statutes, which I command you this day, lest, when you have eaten and are full, and have built goodly houses, and lived therein, and when your herds and your flocks multiply, and your silver and your gold is multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, then your heart be lifted up, and you forget Yahweh your God, who brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, with fiery serpents and scorpions, and thirsty ground where there was no water, who brought you forth water out of the rock of flint, who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your fathers didn't know that he might humble you, and that he might prove you, to do you good at your latter end. And lest you say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand has gotten me this wealth. But you shall remember Yahweh your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore to your fathers, as at this day. It shall be, if you shall forget Yahweh your God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day that you shall surely perish, as the nations that Yahweh makes to perish before you, so you shall perish, because you wouldn't listen to the voice of Yahweh your God. Chapter 9 Hear, Israel, you are to pass over the Jordan this day to go in to dispossess nations greater and mightier than yourself, cities great and fortified up to the sky, a people great and tall, the sons of the Anakim, whom you know, and of whom you have heard say, Who can stand before the sons of Anak? Know therefore this day, that Yahweh your God is he who goes over before you as a devouring fire. He will destroy them, and he will bring them down before you. So you shall drive them out, and make them to perish quickly, as Yahweh has spoken to you. Don't say in your heart, after Yahweh your God has thrust them out from before you, saying, For my righteousness Yahweh has brought me in to possess this land. Because Yahweh drives them out before you because of the wickedness of these nations, not for your righteousness, or for the uprightness of your heart, do you go in to possess their land. But for the wickedness of these nations, Yahweh your God does drive them out from before you, and that he may establish the word which Yahweh swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Know, therefore, that Yahweh your God doesn't give you this good land to possess it for your righteousness, for you are a stiff-necked people. Remember, don't forget how you provoked Yahweh your God to wrath in the wilderness, from the day that you went forth out of the land of Egypt, until you came to this place, you have been rebellious against Yahweh. Also in Horeb, you provoked Yahweh to wrath, and Yahweh was angry with you to destroy you. When I was gone up onto the mountain to receive the tables of stone, even the tables of the covenant which Yahweh made with you, then I stayed on the mountain forty days and forty nights. I neither ate bread nor drank water. Yahweh delivered to me the two tables of stone written with the finger of God. 
and on them were all the words which Yahweh spoke with you on the mountain out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. It came to pass at the end of forty days and forty nights that Yahweh gave me the two tables of stone, even the tables of the covenant. Yahweh said to me, Arise, get down quickly from here, for your people whom you have brought out of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have quickly turned aside out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten image. Furthermore, Yahweh spoke to me, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Let me alone, that I may destroy them, and blot out their name from under the sky. And I will make of you a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mountain, and the mountain was burning with fire, and the two tables of the covenant were in my two hands. I looked, and behold, you had sinned against Yahweh your God. You had made yourselves a molten calf. You had turned aside quickly out of the way which Yahweh had commanded you. I took hold of the two tables, and cast them out of my two hands, and broke them before your eyes. I fell down before Yahweh as at the first, forty days and forty nights. I neither ate bread nor drank water, because of all your sin which you sinned, in doing that which was evil in the sight of Yahweh, to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure with which Yahweh was angry against you to destroy you. But Yahweh listened to me that time also. Yahweh was very angry with Aaron to destroy him. And I prayed for Aaron also at the same time. I took your sin, the calf which you had made, and burnt it with fire, and stamped it, grinding it very small, until it was as fine as dust. And I cast its dust into the brook that descended out of the mountain. At Taberah, and at Massa, and at Kibroth Hataava, you provoked Yahweh to wrath. When Yahweh sent you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and possess the land which I have given you, then you rebelled against the commandment of Yahweh your God, and you didn't believe him, nor listen to his voice. You have been rebellious against Yahweh from the day that I knew you. So I fell down before Yahweh the forty days and forty nights that I fell down, because Yahweh had said he would destroy you. I prayed to Yahweh and said, Lord Yahweh, don't destroy your people and your inheritance, that you have redeemed through your greatness, that you have brought out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Don't look to the stubbornness of this people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sin, lest the land you brought us out from say, Because Yahweh was not able to bring them into the land which he promised to them, and because he hated them, he has brought them out to kill them in the wilderness. Yet they are your people and your inheritance, which you brought out by your great power and by your outstretched arm. Chapter 10 At that time Yahweh said to me, Cut two tables of stone like the first, and come up to me on to the mountain, and make an ark of wood. I will write on the tables the words that were on the first tables which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. So I made an ark of acacia wood, and cut two tables of stone like the first, and went up onto the mountain, having the two tables in my hand. He wrote on the tables, according to the first writing, the Ten Commandments, which Yahweh spoke to you on the mountain, out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And Yahweh gave them to me. I turned and came down from the mountain, and put the tables in the ark which I had made, and there they are as Yahweh commanded me. The children of Israel traveled from Beeroth ben Jeachin to Moserath. There Aaron died, and he was buried. And Eleazar his son ministered in the priest's office in his place. From there they traveled to Gudgoda, and from Gudgoda to Jotbatha, a land of brooks of water. At that time Yahweh set apart the tribe of Levi to bear the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh, to stand before Yahweh to minister to him and to bless in his name to this day. Therefore Levi has no portion nor inheritance with his brothers. Yahweh is his inheritance, according as Yahweh your God spoke to him. I stayed on the mountain, as at the first time, forty days and forty nights, and Yahweh listened to me that time also. Yahweh would not destroy you. Yahweh said to me, 
Arise, take your journey before the people, and they shall go in and possess the land, which I swore to their fathers to give to them. Now Israel, what does Yahweh your God require of you but to fear Yahweh your God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve Yahweh your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, to keep the commandments of Yahweh, and his statutes, which I command you this day, for your good? Behold, to Yahweh your God belongs heaven and the heaven of heavens, the earth with all that is therein. Only Yahweh had a delight in your fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, even you above all peoples, as at this day. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. For Yahweh your God, he is God of gods, and Lord of lords, the great God, the mighty and the awesome, who doesn't respect persons, nor takes reward. He does execute justice for the fatherless and widow, and loves the foreigner in giving him food and clothing. Therefore love the foreigner, for you were foreigners in the land of Egypt. You shall fear Yahweh your God, you shall serve him, and you shall cling to him, and you shall swear by his name. He is your praise, and he is your God, who has done for you these great and awesome things which your eyes have seen. Your fathers went down into Egypt with seventy persons, and now Yahweh your God has made you as the stars of the sky for multitude. Chapter 11 Therefore you shall love Yahweh your God, and keep his instructions, and his statutes, and his ordinances, and his commandments, always. Know this day, for I don't speak with your children who have not known, and who have not seen the chastisement of Yahweh your God, his greatness, his mighty hand, and his outstretched arm, and his signs and his works, which he did in the midst of Egypt, to Pharaoh the king of Egypt, and to all his land and what he did to the army of Egypt, to their horses, and to their chariots, how he made the water of the Red Sea to overflow them as they pursued after you, and how Yahweh has destroyed them to this day, and what he did to you in the wilderness until you came to this place, and what he did to Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, the son of Reuben, how the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up, and their households, and their tents, and every living thing that followed them in the midst of all Israel. But your eyes have seen all the great work of Yahweh that he did. Therefore you shall keep all the commandment which I command you this day, that you may be strong, and go in and possess the land where you go over to possess it, and that you may prolong your days in the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers to give to them and to their seed, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land where you go in to possess it isn't as the land of Egypt that you came out from, where you sowed your seed and watered it with your foot as a garden of herbs. But the land where you go over to possess it is a land of hills and valleys which drinks water of the rain of the sky, a land which Yahweh your God cares for. For eyes of Yahweh your God are always on it, from the beginning of the year even to the end of the year. It shall happen if you shall listen diligently to my commandments, which I command you this day, to love Yahweh your God, and to serve him with all your heart, and with all your soul, that I will give the rain of your land in its season, the former rain, and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain, and your new wine, and your oil. I will give grass in your fields for your livestock, and you shall eat, and be full. Take heed to yourselves, lest your heart be deceived, and you turn aside, and serve other gods, and worship them. And the anger of Yahweh be kindled against you, and he shut up the sky, so that there shall be no rain, and the land shall not yield its fruit, and you perish quickly from off the good land which Yahweh gives you. Therefore you shall lay up these words in my heart and in your soul, and you shall bind them for a sign on your hand, and they shall be for symbols between your eyes. You shall teach them your children, talking of them, when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house, and on your gates, 
that your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children, in the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers to give them, as the days of the heavens above the earth. For if you shall diligently keep all this commandment which I command you, to do it, to love Yahweh your God, to walk in all his ways, and to cling to him, then will Yahweh drive out all these nations from before you, and you shall dispossess nations greater and mightier than yourselves. Every place whereon the sole of your foot shall tread shall be yours, from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even to the hinder sea, shall be your border. No man shall be able to stand before you. Yahweh your God shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you on all the land that you shall tread on, as he has spoken to you. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. The blessing, if you shall listen to the commandments of Yahweh your God, which I command you this day, and the curse, if you shall not listen to the commandments of Yahweh your God, but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day, to go after other gods which you have not known. It shall happen, when Yahweh your God shall bring you into the land where you go to possess it, that you shall set the blessing on Mount Gerizim, and the curse on Mount Ebal. Aren't they beyond the Jordan, behind the way of the going down of the sun, in the land of the Canaanites who dwell in the Arabah? over against Gilgal, beside the oaks of Morah? For you are to pass over the Jordan, to go in to possess the land which Yahweh your God gives you, and you shall possess it, and dwell therein. You shall observe to do all the statutes and the ordinances which I set before you this day. The End of Chapters 5-11 through 11 of the Book of Deuteronomy from the World English Bible Recording by Mark Penfold.